Hi everyone, it's me again. Today's topic is being blind and being a mother. Um, I think that maybe it's much easier to be a mother if someone uh, is blind since the person was born. I'm saying I think because well that's not my experience and I haven't actually spoken with any of moms like this. But I imagine because I believe they are much more independent and well they know how to do things on their own so they're more skillful than the mothers that become blind throughout the life like it happened to me um, well i dreamt to be a mother since i was very small and i imagined all kinds of things that i would do with my daughter obviously do her hairstyles dress her up um, play with her read the stories with her color with her draw write and all kinds of things but when, when, when I actually did become mother, well, I only had a chance to see Lisa to a certain point until she was around four, I think. Uh, which was actually great because at least I was able to take care of her when she was a baby, to change the diapers, to clean her well, and to do all kinds of things because the babies can't express themselves that great. So I'm, I'm really thankful for that, that, well, that I could attend her the way I was supposed to. But then the things got complicated. Mm, of course I had to forget about reading the books with her, about drawing, coloring and so on, even though there are some strategies to color or even to draw, but it's a little bit more complicated than if, if one has the sight. Um, I am an, a person with well old-fashioned ideas about being a mother. I don't know if you have ever received to your WhatsApp or to your email messages saying that a mother is a doctor, a psychologist, a taxi driver, a chef, a teacher, a nurse and so on. So I believe that well, being a mother is much more than just feeding and bathing. No, I think you have to attend your kid in all the ways. Um, well, since I have lost my sight recently completely i i can't even do all the things i would like to for myself so it's quite challenging to to want to to feel that you have to do all these things because of your kid but i have to say that it's really mm, enriching and motivating and 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 it's one of the things that really pushes me out of my comfort zone and, and I really want to learn the things because obviously I want to be a good mother. I would like to be not only a good mother, an outstanding mother. So it motivates me to try the things that I would, I would be maybe lazy to try to do them or I would be maybe afraid. I want to do them because I want to be a good mother. So how, would, how do we do different things? Uh, first, I was really frustrated because, well, I wasn't able to play with her the way I would want to because, well, if you want to play with your kid, it's very useful if, if you can see. But then at certain point, Lisa told me that she would like to play bingo with me. And I said, Lisa, I can't play bingo with you. Remember, I can't see. She says, no, 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 you can play it with me. Look, I will have a card and you will have a card. I'll tell you what images there are on your, on your bingo. And then I'll read the images that come out on... on every single card and I'll put the beans to your card and well yes we actually can play it this way because she tells me what images I have I obviously use there my memory and whenever she pulls something that I have I tell her and if I win or lose well that's really not important to me these moments with her playing are priceless we also play cards one and we do it the same she sees the cards I have she tells me the colors and the numbers I have and then she always tells me what number she puts on the table. So this way we can also play this game. Or we have another uh, game that, I, I don't know if it's Slovenian, but it's it's about the black cat. And it's like like memory that you have to find pairs in your cards, for, ex in your cards, for example, two, two rabbits, no? two goats. And you just take cards one by one and you have to make pairs. So we play the same way. She tells me what cards I have and what cards I take. So this way we can play it. It's not precisely what, what, what I would like to do, but it's playing with my daughter and I'm happy about it. Then we also play domino. Uh, if, uh, if you have the numbers, sometimes they're lifted or sometimes they're holes. So in that case, we don't need any help. You can just touch them and you know what numbers, what numbers we have. 
But if not, we play the same. She tells me what I have. Um, we, we play the same way Monopoly. I mean, it's practically doable. Anything, no? If, if, if you show what you have, either the cards or the letters or something. Uh, Jenga is an amazing option. That's something that I can actually play without any help. I just have to be super careful. <laughs> trying to to touch the pieces because if not i can i can it can break down easily um then well about cooking for example i i was never uh, excellent in that area but then because my diego likes to try different foods i barely started uh, making foods from slovenia and then i started losing my sight but interestingly now when i can't see i'm, I'm the most uh, interested in my life in trying to make some new dishes. Why? Because I like to please him and I would like to please Lisa. So I, I lost the fear of cooking and was, I, ju I just try to cook different dishes and I, uh, I make sure that I have enough time. I cannot do this thing in a hurry and I do it and I try it and so far everything turned out well. About clothes, there's not no bigger problem. I can put the clothes to the washing machine, mm, turn it on, use the detergents. I, I have no issues hanging the clothes or fold them or iron them. The only problem is to check if the clothes are stained or not and to scrub the stains. For that, I haven't figured any remedy yet. So Diego is helping me out with these things right now. Um, then the other issue is obviously how to have authority because well we parents have certain authority or should have certain authority because we have to make decisions for our kids and we have to teach kids to do certain things so this thing is a little bit challenging and i believe that first thing of all is you have to be a self-confident person and you may not behave as a victim victim and you may not only ask for help because with with these attitudes i believe you lo you lose all the authority because kid your kid will see you weak and they won't do whatever you ask them to do um so i had to use certain strategies and be a little bit creative to make her understand that even though I don't see, I know what she's doing. So for example, when I when I took her to bed and I told her, Lisa, please lie down, I'll cover you. She said, yes, mommy. And I said, you're still sitting. She says, no, I'm lying down. I said, no, you're sitting. And she asked, how do you know? Obviously, the ones that can't see, you will know what it is about. Uh, when, when she was sitting, I could hear her voice coming from higher than it was supposed to if she were lying but i told i didn't tell her that i just told her well it's magic because she asked me how do you know that i said that it's magic and there are some some ways that i let her know that i know exactly what she's doing because i can hear if she grabs something i can hear her if she does close the door or not and i let her know i'm aware of those things not to bother her not to um, not to upset her, but I want to give her the feeling that well, that she's controlled, no matter that I don't see. And the other thing that I try to pay a lot of attention, I would have done it anyway, but is uh, teaching her the values. Because I would like her to be an honest girl, I would like her to be helpful, um, I would like her to be nice. So if you, if you work on these areas, well, it, it's much easier because it, uh, it's... I know, I know that uh, kids go through the phases that they tend to lie, that they look for the limits. It's part of their development. But still, if you teach them with those values, it's much less of that. So you can trust more and it's more a team no? than, an, uh, than our, uh, an authority. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Diego, how do you say? Uh, un papá con autoridad. Uh, father with, with authority. Uh, 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 then a parent with authority, we are more a team. And well, she tells me the things, uh, honestly, no? so it's easier, to, it's easier to deal with these things. Um, uh, but most of all, I think our kids are really inspiring us. Uh, they bring so much love out of us and they give us love. So I think, I, I don't want to... Um, that it sounds that I'm taking advantage of her, on her, no, but I'm just valuing her, appreciating her, appreciating her love, and I'm trying to to, ta to take all this from her 
to be the best person and the best mother in the world. Well, I hope that you can take something positive from this recording. If you happen to be a blind mother, don't get discouraged. There are always strategies to be an amazing mother. And if you have any tips, any experience, please share it with us in the comments. Um, and well, if you, if you don't have this issue, there's always a way to be a good parent. If you liked this video, please give us a like and share it with whoever you would like to. Uh, see you here next Thursday. Bye!